Beto O'Rourke was on this network a couple of hours ago uh, saying that both you and Joe Biden could win uh, in Texas this time. Uh, you're both polling behind. Uh, Joe Biden's polling three points behind Donald Trump in Texas. Uh, you're polling behind John Cornyn. Uh, but John Cornyn's not polling over 50 the way incumbents uh, are supposed to if they're going to win their reelections. And Beto O'Rourke made the point that uh, the Democrat always under polls in Texas. He closed much higher than his polls indicated that he would in Texas. Uh, in 28 days, what is your strategy for closing this gap? The more people learn about John Cornyn and his actual record, not his pretty words that he says he wants to support, but his actual voting record, um, the lower his approval rating goes, the the, the better we get, the, I mean, the, the higher uh, we go in the polls. But frankly, people in Texas are not going to vote for me just because I'm not John Cornyn. So it's really important that I get out there. I was raised here in very rural Texas. Um, it's important that I get there and talk to Texans about what my vision is for the state, because I have built that vision through a lifetime of living in Texas and through campaigning in every corner of the state and talking to people who are facing the challenges of regular working everyday Texans. And so my vision for this state, my plan for this state, my values are more closely aligned with this state and with the people here than John Cornyn's lack of action and his really terrible voting record. And so the more uh, people learn about this race and we have a debate coming up on Friday, that's gonna be a great opportunity for that. Um, we feel strongly like we're gonna be able to close the gap because there's still a huge undecided factor because again, I have to earn people's vote here in Texas. They're not going to just vote for me because I'm not him. John Cornyn uh, voted to repeal uh, the Affordable Care Act, which is to say he voted to tear away health insurance for Texans uh, who've never needed it more than they need it now. What is the general awareness of that in Texas? Oh, it's absolute. Uh, Texas has been the worst uninsured rate in the nation the entire time John Cornyn's been in office. So you would think in 18 years in DC, he would have done something to stand up for that and to get access to healthcare for his constituents. Um, we had one out of five of us without access to healthcare before this pandemic. And now in the middle of a healthcare crisis, we have one out of three working age adults don't have access to health insurance in the middle of a pandemic. Um, so yeah, he has voted over 20 times to, to tear down the Affordable Care Act, just recently voted in favor of the lawsuit that's coming before the Supreme Court. Um, he pretends like he wants to protect pre-existing conditions, but the PROTECT Act that he is touting as the replacement for the Affordable Care Act um, would actually keep insurance agencies from being able to deny coverage for a pre-existing condition, but they can deny coverage for that pre-existing condition and anything that interacts with it, which if you have a pre-existing condition, basically everything you need coverage for is gonna have something to do with that. So if people are in the hospital recovering from COVID with an underlying hypertension or diabetes or something, then their insurance agencies can, can deny coverage for that. People just need to pay attention to what's going on. And I think that Texans are paying attention and our access to healthcare is the number one thing that I hear about on the campaign trail and more and more Texans every day know John Cornyn is fighting to rip that protection away.